Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Blazer425 HD coming at you with a new commentary. And this time I'm going to be doing some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, just like I promised you guys in my last Homefront video. And uh, yeah, I'm back into uh, my commentating mode. I'm um, sorry, guys, for the delay. Uh, I know it's, this video is like a week late. And uh, I know I said that I was going to put out videos every uh, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Yeah, I believe those are the days. But uh, sorry, guys, for not keeping up with that. I have been really busy. I've been getting new studio equipment. If you guys didn't know, I'm a, a music producer, and I, I mostly produce rap music. But yeah, uh, my friend's mixtape just dropped this weekend, and uh, I really had a lot of work to do getting uh, copies together and uh, just promoting the mixtape. And uh, it, uh, just letting you guys know, it actually turned out very well. Um, we sold a lot of copies. We sold at least 20 copies in our first day, which is pretty good, considering that uh, not a lot of people knew it was coming out. And we uh, scheduled the release date on the Friday, you know. And uh, on Monday, which is today, Saturday, on Monday, uh, me and my friend are going to make some more copies, and we're going to release them uh, before and after school. Um, as I said, I was a sophomore in high school, and I also had the uh, PSATs. Um, I, th I believe they were last week. Yeah, something like that. But, um, yeah, the PST. PSATs were really annoying and everything. Um, I really hate taking like standardized tests like that. But you know, um, it wasn't actually that difficult. It was actually pretty easy. But some questions uh, caught me by surprise. This is the practice SATs for us. So uh, yeah, we're not really used to the format of the SATs. <clears throat> and filling in the little bubbles, like you know, for the SATs, it was kind of like a change. Um, I know we had the PSSAs before, but. They were very straightforward with their bubbles. This thing has, like, you know, uh, you have to do bubbles for the math problems and things. And before we just had, like, uh, <coughs> sorry, I'm really sick. But uh, before we used to have, like, the open-ended questions. But, yeah, uh, thank you, guys. Uh, thank you, subscribers. Um, I believe I almost have 20 subscribers, and uh, the number just keeps on going up and up. Every time I release a video, I get a couple subscribers, which I love. Thank you, guys. Um, your support just keeps me going with this. And uh, I'm really looking forward to Modern Warfare 3. That's probably going to be the focus of this video. Modern Warfare 3 because I'm playing some Modern Warfare 2. Um, yeah, so I decided why not talk about Modern Warfare 3 in the Modern Warfare 2 video. But yeah, um, Modern Warfare 3. It's coming out November 8th or something like that. Sorry, um, I'm not really good with like release dates and stuff like that. But uh, I pre-ordered the game about like a month ago. Um, the first week you could pre-order it. Yeah, I think it was like a month ago. But yeah, I pre-ordered the game and I'm really looking forward to it because... So far from all the gameplay and just the videos of the perks and things like that, um, I, I really think it's going to be just like Modern Warfare 2, which is good. People might uh, not buy it just because it's exactly like Modern Warfare 2. It's not going to be exactly like Modern Warfare 2. You're just a dumbass if you think it's going to be the exact same game, just with new guns and stuff like that. It is going to be completely like, you know, re-engineered. It's going to be built on the same system and everything, but uh, they're going to keep in like the classic feels because, you know, Modern Warfare 3 is going to be a sequel to uh, Modern Warfare 2. Like, you know, it picks up where the Modern Warfare 2 storyboard kind of left off. So, yeah, um, it's allowed to uh, have the qualities of Modern Warfare 2, in my opinion. But, yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to it. It looks very good. The graphics look pretty good so far from the videos I've seen. But, uh, you know, we don't know that until we actually play it. But, yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to that. It comes out in a month or less than a month, which is good. But uh, I'm also looking forward to uh, Battlefield 3. But I don't know, like, um, Modern Warfare 2, I kind of got obsessed with it, if you say that. Wow, this is such a fail right here. Yeah, um, Modern Warfare 2, I kind of got obsessed with. I got 10 Prestige legit and everything, but I had, like, 30, not even 30 yet. Um, I had, like, 20-something days of gameplay. I used to play it all the time because, I don't know, I just really got hooked on it. It's just one of those games that once you start playing one game, you got to play the next game, and you just want to keep leveling up and unlocking things. And I believe the factor that, uh didn't uh, make me do that in Black Ops or like, you know, get me to do that in Black Ops was probably because of the COD point system that they integrated into Black Ops. And uh, pretty much uh, I hate that because all, all it is is that uh, you save up enough money, you can buy like pretty much any gun you want. Um, I really liked where you have to level up and get the guns and you would always get the guns. You wouldn't have to worry about saving up COD points or anything like that. But yeah, um... Modern Warfare 3 is going to be something completely different. It's supposed to be uh, built on the same system as Modern Warfare 2. Same engine. And stuff like that. Which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, so far, the perks that I've seen um, are like the Marathon perk. And it's not going to be unlimited running like it was in Modern Warfare 2. But it's going to be like, you know, it's going to be like extreme conditioning from COD 4. And uh, the pro version of that, I believe, is Climb Objects Faster. Which is the same as uh, this game, Modern Warfare 2. 
um, because the pro version of Marathon Pro in here is climb objects faster and other things like that. But uh, another perk that I saw was some kind of like bomb squad perk or uh, I, I forget what it is. No, it was like recon or something like that. But uh, pretty much if you get explosive damage on an enemy, like if you like, you know, hit him with a uh, rocket, hit him with a grenade. Like, you know, get a hit marker with a grenade, get a hit marker with a kill streak and things like that. They're, uh, only they will pop up on the radar and everything. And you can actually see them, I think, for a short period of time. I don't think it would be permanent until they die. But, yeah, a short period of time. And, um, the pro version of that perk, um, is actually, every time you get a hit marker, they come up on the radar for probably a short period of time. Which I am really looking forward to that perk. And that's in, uh, tier one. Like, you know, the first tier of perks. So, uh, th that probably will be my favorite perk in at least tier one. But, yeah, um, so if you get a hit marker on an enemy, like, you know, um, if you get a gay hit marker or things like that, they will actually pop up on the radar and you will know where they are for probably a short period of time. That's a collateral fail right there. I think I got the guy in the, like, final stand or something like that. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of, like, getting off topic here. But, yeah, Modern Warfare 3, so far, has, uh, made a good impression on me. And I hope you guys, uh are thinking the same um if you have any um opinions on modern warfare 3 what you think it's going to be if you're going to buy it if uh you think it's just going to be a rerun of modern warfare 2 just leave a comment leave a like um yeah leave a comment of your opinion what you think will happen but anyways guys thank you sorry for the delay and uh i'm glad to get another video out here look forward to a video tomorrow i'm almost 100 percent sure i'm going to be putting it up but uh, i have a lot of homework tomorrow you know school and everything but yeah Thank you guys for watching this video. Blazer425 out.